Now you remember during the January 6th, the, you know, white supremacist insurrection that they tried to go and act as a straight fool in the Congress. And they did all of that. And then nothing came out of it. I mean, I mean, it had to make me shake my head about, you know, some people uh, that was over there, but you had two of them um, that was recently arrested. Now you remember the brother uh, by the name of Eugene Goodman, you know, he was standing um, trying to lead the angry mob of white supremacists away to a particular spot in the Capitol where he had backup. So there was two brothers that was recently charged. Uh, that his name is Joshua Calvin Hughes and Gerard Wade Hughes. Uh, they were two of the first 10 white supremacist rioters to breach the Capitol building as an earlier, you know, last month. Um, out around the time the Congress is certifying the election. So they said they, they climbed through the window, a broken window and helped kick down a door to allow more white supremacists to enter. Now they were charged on January 28 with several offenses, including obstructing an official proceeding, obstructing or interfering with law enforcement during a civil disorder, entering the Capitol without authorization and without an intention uh, to disrupt official business and destroy property. Now, along with the primary aggressor, you know, of course we talked about the brother, how they chase uh, the brother. He led him away and, you know, eventually they gave him, uh, uh, you know, I guess, uh, add a boy for, for doing that. But you know, this is the thing, you know, during, uh, 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 Jim Crow Joe's, um, you know, inauguration speech, you know, he was mentioning white supremacy. Now, many of you have talked about, you know, he hasn't done a single executive order for black people. Um, and that's hundred percent correct. Um, he's been making executive orders for everybody in their mama, except black people, even though black folks, you know, you got your booty to the polls and you, and you were strutting to the polls and you were lying dancing to the polls and you know, you were shaming people about voting and this man hasn't done a single solitary thing for you. Matter of fact, um, he's doing for everything, uh, against you. He just sat up there and cut the Keystone pipeline, which puts some brothers out of work, which we will be talking about that, uh, on the podcast here in the next day or two brother was pretty pissed off, said a stroke of a pen took his job away from his family. Right. You know, he signed executive orders for immigration. He signed executive orders for, for Asians all these different people that did not vote for him when he admitted that black people was the one that got me you know, in the election, not Asians, not immigrants, not anybody else. Okay. But yet this is the disrespect that that party do to a lot of, you know, us in the community. And this is why I, I keep saying the two thirds is not going to make it because the two thirds will continue to vote uh, that way. Uh, they, they will not ask for anything. Um, uh, because you know, they're scared and, and, and they don't really want to be on their own. They don't want to do for themselves. They are kind of talk that talk like they're, you know, a little bit want to do for themselves or maybe a little talk like they black empowerment, but when it really becomes black empowerment, they get scared because Mzungu mommy and daddy is not involved with that. But notice that Jim Crow Joe has not did one, uh, uh piece of legislation went to Congress or even executive order against white supremacists and white supremacy. Now you would think ever since the, you know, uh, attempted coup on the United States government, that he, that would have been a, one of the first order of business for him to say, listen, I got to prevent this and I got to make an example out of these people. Has he done that? No, not whatsoever. And we can't expect him to do that because that's his brethren. Okay. He don't care if they're white supremacists. He could talk. Listen, one thing about the, you know, left wing party, they are the Fox and the right wing is the wolf. Yeah. The Fox may come up with all that, that talk about white supremacy and racism and people of color and minorities. You, you see how his minority game going on right now, right? Cause you understand minority means Mzungu women. You know that, right? Um, and, and Joe Biden has plenty of them, uh, in, in his administration. But what I'm saying is after all these charges, remember they were just discussing about not even charging a lot of them. And this is Joe Biden. 
And now, you know, of course, some of the two thirds in, in the black community already saying, he just got in there. What you guys expect? I say, that's the two thirds for you. That's the two thirds. I say, and this is why we got to separate ourselves, brothers and sisters, from the two thirds. Like I said, they, they, they are, are hell bent on making sure they stay underneath the foot of massa. And that's fine. Let them do that. Just stay the hell away from us. We don't need you around, but we will continue to watch Jim Crow Joe and, and we'll see how long before he, he actually attempt to say he's going to do something. But you know, I mean, he already told the quote unquote civil rights leaders. I don't know what kind of leaders they are. Not my leader. Um, th that basically he's not going to do anything. You can't expect me to do an executive order, but yet he's doing the executive order for Asians and immigrants and all he can do it for everybody else. But he tell them he can't do nothing for black folks with executive order. <laughs> yes. Yes. This video is turned into that because he did not do no executive order about white supremacy. And that's one of the first executive orders that he should have conducted. And he hasn't because he's not going to two guarantees about him. He's not going to, he's not going to make white supremacy life hard. And for sure, he's not going to help black folks specifically, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation. Um, with this particular story, yes, I'm going to circle back around to Jim Crow Joe because you know what? We circled around to Trump and anytime Trump done something that we pointed out, we talked about Trump. He is not immune from being talked about when for sure black folks came out there and voted for him. So you look at certain issues and problems that's happening. Yes, we're going to say, hey, uh, uh, Jim Crow Joe, what's going on? Well, what, what's, why are you not fixing these issues? You know, he's not immune. He's actually going to have more pressure on him than anybody else.